everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a few things that I want to share with you in this video. Please make sure that you watch all the way through because I do have a giveaway, so I will not be responding to any comments. I'm going to insert it somewhere along the along the video but i wanted to let you know right off because i know that some people skip through the video and i don't want you to miss it i am going to put it in somewhere i will pick the winner using randompickers.com and i will announce the winner in my next video next saturday i'll try to get the prize out or the giveaway, yeah, the giveaway prize out as soon as I can. I do, I want to talk to you about the wig that I'm wearing. I want to talk to you about some of the highlights of 2019 and of course the giveaway. For, first of all, I want to start off with my wig from Uniwig. This was provided to me by Uniwig for review purposes. And when they first approached me, the first thing I did was look to see how much it was because it is a human hair wig and I wasn't going to come here and talk about a wig that was over a thousand dollars. I didn't think it was appropriate for me to review a wig of that price. Please bear in mind that I am just like you. I am not a wig reviewer. I wear wigs just for fun. I wear them because I like to change my look and I think that that it's nice to go from a long hair to a short, from a brown to a blonde, to a red, to a purple, to a hot pink. And those of you that know me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uni, when Uniwig contacted me, they asked me if I wanted to review and try their human hair wig. I do not have any experience with human hair wigs. My wigs are all synthetic. With that said, I have to say that this feels amazing. It is my hair. That's how it feels. This wig is called, the name of this wig is Perfection. It has a full monofilament top, which means I could part it anywhere I like. I personally like it parted right in the middle. I have not parted it anywhere, but it is full monofilament, so if you want to, um, Part it to the left or part it to the right, whichever you prefer, you can certainly do that. It is also a 100% hand tied wig, which makes it a little bit more comfortable, I, in my opinion. Not everyone has that same opinion. This is just my personal opinion. It has a nice stretch to it, and I'll be inserting clips of showing you the inside. It does have clips in it. I do not use the clips. I have been wearing this wig almost every day since I received it because I wanted to see how it felt. I wanted to let you know how it felt. I have not used the clips and I have gone out in pretty windy days. What I have used is my wig grip or and I have used the cap that is included with the wig. That is really it. That's all I'm wearing right now. It is beautiful. The color that they sent me is called, it, this is a balage, which means that it's, it's not foiled, it's not highlighted, it's blended with, it, with caramel, with highlights of a little bit of blonde. It has uh, dark roots, I would say. I love this color. I think it's perfect. I, you know, I'm not a blonde type wearing girl, but I really, really like the highlights of this. The nice thing about the human hair wig is that you can wash it with your regular shampoo. You can curl it. You can style it. You could have your hairdresser. If you're not a hairdresser, you can have them cut it a little bit. I think that eventually I might have a few inches cut. This is 14 inches, by the way. I'll probably have it cut right up to my shoulders because this is a bit long. But I have to tell you, I really like it. And my husband said to me, don't cut it. It looks really nice. <laughs> I really like it. I have it right now kind of pinned to the back. Like I said, you can style this anyway. You could use a flat iron. You could use a curling iron with it. I like it straight. I'm going to, I'll curl it and I'll insert some pictures of how it looks with, with it curled. But I just really like it like this. And it does look just like scalp. 
I've worn it out and people that don't really know me don't know I'm wearing away. I'm going to turn around so I don't have a swiveling chair, but I will uh, turn around so you could see how I just pinned it in the back. Hopefully you were able to see that. I just um, grabbed one of those little clasps and, and bought it up. Sometimes I just wear it all down. Sometimes I've, I've taken it, I think on my last video, I took it and I moved it over to the side and I pinned it there. I, I just love it. I'm having so much fun with it. And like I said, there's so much you can do with this. I do, my experience with wigs I'm not a reviewer, but my experience is basically with synthetic wigs. It's a little bit different than, than it is. I don't know if, I think you can dye these. You could, I'm almost certain you can because it is human hair. You don't have that with synthetic wigs that you, you have that, you, you have to be careful. You can't dye it or you may not be, you have to take it to a professional, um, wig stylist in order to trim it or cut it or anything like that. I think it's a little bit different with human hair, but I just think it's so beautiful. Who on earth wants to change this? I think it looks great. I, I really like it. I love the versatility of it. I love how comfortable it is. I love that it looks so natural. It does come with a lace front, which I trimmed. And I think that they do that so you can customize it to yourself. For example, I have a widow's peak. Therefore, I cut the lace right near my widow's peak so it I wouldn't have to have it so far back or so far forward I, it would just look as natural as it could be it has a nice lace it has um temple temple to temple on the lace and it does have the the back the the neck um tab the nape tab I think it's called yeah but it feels, it just is amazing. It feels like hair and I, I just, I just love it. I, I really do. Let me know what you think about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. The nice thing about Uniwigs is that if you are looking for a human hair wig, this, they are not as expensive as some of the other brands. High price. I wanted to review a wig that was at a price right along the same line as my synthetic wigs. And especially if you're if you're like me and you just like to have the wigs because you like to have fun with them and maybe you want to have two or three or four wigs in your collection, then you may not want to have a $2,000 wig. You may want to have something that's comparable right around anywhere between or under $500 for example. So uh, that's why I thought, all right, I can review this because it is, it is right in the price range of the wigs that I do have. I'm going to leave the link down below to Uniwigs in case you want to go and you want to check it out. I believe I have a code, but I'm not certain. I think I do. I don't remember. <laughs> But if I do, I will certainly leave it down below. Aren't I terrible? What can I say? All right. I think that's all I really wanted to share with you on the wig. I, I just, I just love it. What can I say? All right. Let's go to the highlights of 2019. 2019, as you all know, ended on a very sad note for me, but I'm going to concentrate and focus on the highlights of 2019. Starting in March, I had the opportunity to fly out to Indiana and meet Michelle Cinnamon Girl Beauty and Mary Glitzy Fritzy. We spent an incredible weekend together. We shopped, we talked, we ate, we recorded a, a, a live video. We had so much fun. It, we truly did. It was an amazing experience. We, uh, we only, I think we were together for about three days and Michelle, I had known since I started, Michelle and I started about a month apart and that it was so nice to get to meet someone that you had started together 
so to speak. We, we both started at the same time. We developed that friendship and we are still friends, of course. It was amazing spending time with her. And with Mary, I had been subscribed to Mary since Mary only had about 2,000 subscribers. I remember that she did a giveaway with the peaches, the Too Faced Peach palette was her giveaway for her 2,000 subscribers. And, and I, I followed her or been subscribed to her since then. It was wonderful getting together with these ladies. I had a fantastic time. From Indiana, I flew into North Carolina where I spent about a week in Lake Glore. And there I had the opportunity to meet up with Sheila from Simply Sheila from the, for the first time. We had lunch together. We had, we talked, we laughed. We did a car chat together. It was very impromptu. She is just as beautiful in person as she is on camera. She is sweet. She is funny as can be. She had me laughing and I enjoyed every second w w spending with Sheila. Again, I have known her, known her, so to speak, through YouTube since I didn't, didn't even know she had a channel. She would leave me comments and I thought her name was Lily, as many of you probably as well. From there in the summer, then I met up with Mary Ellen from Mary Ellen After 60. Mary Ellen and, and her husband Jim met us in Kansas City. We drove to Kansas City and we had a three hour lunch. This was the first time that Wayne was going to meet me. Well, he had met Sheila and he really liked her, but this was the first time that he was going to meet a spouse of a of a uh, content creator so he was a little like really we were gonna go but he didn't want me to drive to Kansas City by myself because it's three hours away and I really don't I'm not in Florida so we went and we met up with Jim and Mary Ellen we had a three-hour lunch and so such an amazing time it was as if the four of us just knew each other forever Jim and Wayne just hit it off and they were talking Mary Ellen and I went off and we recorded it was like meeting up with a longtime friend she is another one that is just as beautiful inside as she is outside she is a gorgeous lady and I felt that I had was meeting up with a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in years then in September, it was the ending of September, I believe, we went to South Carolina and Sheila and her husband David opened their home in South Carolina and Myrtle Beach, opened their home to us. Monica and her husband Jay and Wayne and I went and the six of us stayed in Sheila and David's beach home. We had such a fantastic time. Once again, it, it was like we had known each other forever. With Sheila and Monica, it was a little bit different because the three of us talk every day. We use the Vox, Voxer and we talk a few times a day, constantly, every day. And if one of us is not Voxing right away, it's like, okay, is something wrong? Do you need anything? Right along those lines. And it, it was, we, once again, we recorded for all three of our channels we shopped oh my gosh did we shop in south carolina it was amazing we went to dinner we had lunch we had pizza it was fantastic whether the six of us were together or if it was the boys doing something and the girls doing something jay and wayne went and golfed it was it was getting together with friends I love them both dearly and it meant so much to me to be able to get together with them. And then, um, as you know, at the end of October, I lost my son and many of you have said to me on a few occasions that you are, that you are amazed at my courage. And I just, I needed to say this here, I really don't have courage. What you are seeing is just a 20 minute glimpse of my life of a week. I live on a roller coaster and I try to record when I am on the top of that roller coaster. But I'm hanging in there and thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for all of your wishes and all of your prayers and all of your thoughts and your hugs and just being there for me. 
I, I, I appreciate it more than I can say. And that is why I'm doing this giveaway. It is a very small giveaway in comparison to what you give to me. But I wish I could give every single one of you something, but I can't. So what I'm going to do is a $100 gift card to whatever store, whatever place, which whatever you want the gift card to. Obviously, because I am, I am doing a, a gift card because I want it to be able to be internationally. And if I sent out a package filled with with products, I probably wouldn't be able to send it overseas. I wouldn't be able to send it to another country. There, therefore, I thought that doing a gift card was the best way. In order for me to know that you want to be entered in the giveaway, please let me know what you are doing for the next couple of weeks. If you're going somewhere, if you're getting together with family, whatever you're doing. And if you're not doing anything and you're doing the same thing I'm doing, just sitting home and watching a movie, please let me know and that will be my clue that you want to be entered in the giveaway. Like, and if you don't want to be entered, that's okay. I, I totally understand. But yes, please let me know what you're doing. It makes me happy to, to see what others are doing. And I will announce the winner of the giveaway next Saturday on my, on my next video and we'll take it from there. I think that is all. Thank you all so much. I hope I won't see you until next Saturday. I won't be here on Wednesday because I don't think that anybody wants to watch videos. I think that's Christmas Day, I believe. So therefore, I'm not going to have a video on Wednesday, but I will be back on Saturday. I hope everyone has a fantastic holiday, whether you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever, whatever you're celebrating. And if you're not celebrating anything, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week, a wonderful day to each and every one of you. A very, very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays to each and every one of you. I love you all more than I could possibly say because if it weren't for you, I'd just be sitting here talking to a camera. Thank you all so much. Thank you for all, for being there. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs up. Thank you for always being there for me. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.